Yes, that's right. We're back at it. Jesse K. Tat Wizard. This is Hot in Tech. And listen, if you're an alien 17 million light years away watching this, I just want you to know, live long and prosper. All right. Today, we got some real dope talk for you. In the building, we got Spotify, Rap Caviar's own, Tuma. Yo. 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 What's the word, though? I'm good. How are you? Nah, nah. We here. We here. We moving around, you know, trying to see what's going on with you. That's Hot in tech, that's what it is. All right, so listen, uh, Rap Caviar on Spotify, second biggest playlist on Spotify, probably the one of the most well-respected and well-known hip-hop playlists around the world, except maybe, I mean, coming up close has put you on with our own Scotty Bean, but that's a different story. <laughs> um, listen, how did I read up on this. Um, of course, you know, we know about what you got going on, but I read up on it. It used to be curated by just users, and then Spotify took it over, correct? No, no, it, it, it was it was originally Hip Hop Monsters. Okay. And Hip Hop Monsters uh, was uh, curated, uh, uh, and then when I came in there, uh, I I just basically just uh, took a different approach to it, mm -hmm. where it, it was more of a reflection. Uh, of the of the culture, you know what I mean, and of different parts of the culture, right. the streets, the, you know what I mean, the clubs, making sure no, the, yeah, the, yeah, attacked. exactly, yeah, you know what I mean, the right. it, the, 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 the 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 blogosphere, right, the, right, the 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 um the you know what I mean, people playing the cars like mixtape type vibes, you right, know what I mean, right, so right. just that, that balance, the the, the ecosystem, the, right. the in the hip hop culture, so so and yeah, so so and then renamed it rap caviar because to say it's like this is the top shelf hip hop. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. th th this is, uh, you know, th 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 this is what's happening right now in all those different little uh, vibes that I just described, you know? So, right. So you can get it all in one place. I huh? love that analogy. Yeah. yeah. And so how do you curate it? How does it break down? How does it work? I, I, I pay attention to, we, 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 we have a lot of uh, analytics, first of all. Uh, first of all, I, I do some, what I call, what I call emotional quality testing. Okay. EQ. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. This is when you actually listen to the records, and you're like, "This is dope," or "This, or this is gonna catch on," or whatever. But I, I also have access to a lot of the insights, so I can see if people are actually searching for it. If, 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 if what markets? I, I look at the different cities. I look at New York, Brooklyn, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Detroit. Uh, I look to see what people are streaming, especially the distinct, like what's distinctly not like everyone's playing the same popular stuff. Is 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 the stuff that's coming up, and 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 when it's gotten there, it's gonna get on rap caviar. Mm -hmm. it's, it gets a fair shot. Rap caviar is a meritocracy. Right. And do you determine what songs are top of the playlist versus well, the, 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 like I saw Drake I, 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 today's number one, which yeah, is and that music. just happened last last night. In the overnight. Overnight. Yeah. In the over, I went to sleep, and somebody in Singapore, uh, in our our office, I, I she she I asked her. I was like, hey, I'm going to. She she was like, hey, I'm, I'm up in Singapore. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. If it goes live while we're asleep, can you put it at the top of Rap Caviar? And, she, and uh, shout out to Eve. Okay. So you know what I mean? Teamwork. You know what I mean? Right, so right. literally, so I woke up. It was. I was like, ah! So like the yeah. top five are like the creme de la creme at the moment. Is that how you? Not style to give it? away the secrets, but yeah, a lot, a lot of in terms of what's happening within rap caviar. So I'm saying. So if people are really listening to it. Because we can see, once you're on the playlist, we can see if people are skipping it, if there's average listening time, if it's the last song you listen to on the, on the playlist, etc. So a lot of those in the top are, are, are the, of course, because I want you to listen to it. You know what I mean? So a lot of those, but, but, but we don't put that out there like the that. The data and the analytics yeah. that Spotify has access to makes it so much of a savvier platform than any other curator, yeah, uh, you it, know, it, at it, least it, old school mentality well, wise. Uh, uh, music programming, we depend on a lot of external information, like traditionally, whether it be media base or sound scan or poll star, call out research. And I've always thought that a lot of that wasn't accurate. It didn't reflect how people actually listen to music. The, the What we have in house, uh, shout out to the guys in Boston. We have uh, uh, the Echo Nest guys, and what next is what we yeah, have in great house. Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, and it's part of Spotify. Yeah. yeah. So what we have in house is 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 truth. So I, 
I look at it. I see real facts. Time. Yeah, I real see facts. Time as if people happening. are listening to Twenty One Savage, they're listening to Twenty One Savage. It's simple as that. Right. I'm not gonna add my own little agenda or whatever. It is what it is. Right. You know what I mean? And then now, now how are we gonna make that vibe well? You know what I mean? It's just the same way a DJ does sets. You know what I mean? How do, how how is that gonna sound so that when you're working out or driving, commuting or whatever, or however you listen to it? Right. Is, is that it flows and you're like wow this is a body of work this isn't just a collection of songs this is a body of work is you the know? curation yeah. different than when you were at like BET or MTV versus like how it's being done in the new age with all the de- information I, 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 you've got I, I think it's very different it's a different because the, the, those platforms are a lot more linear and then even in terms of risk I, t- I talk to radio stations all the time we can take risks because if you don't like a song, all you gotta do is skip the song. If you don't like a song on the radio, you gotta change the channel or yeah, get off it. it is, so uh, that's yeah. like that's do or die. Right. So we can absorb the risk. We could be the front end. You know what I mean? We yeah. can say like, let's give this a try, and there's not very much cost. It's not like it's it's over. Right. You know what I mean? There's no You're, fatalities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's no fatalities. Exactly, right. exactly. So, so, so that's so that's the beauty of it. It's it's not as linear in in, in terms of risk. It's 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 it's, uh, it's friendlier to ri- taking risks. With the well, what, what would consider a risk? Right. Yeah. With the success of what you guys are doing with Rap Caviar, do you see it as the end all be all to what people feel of the music, or do you see that song, like say the Drake song, yeah. even though he's super popular, yeah. it's not a success until it's on the radio playing X amount of times a week? Well. I I I'm actually I can beg to differ because well I'm asking you what do oh, you oh, how do what you I see think, it? oh no no I think I think a, a song whether people like it or not they're gonna find it you know mm-hmm. what I mean word of mouth uh put it, and remember people have their own playlists so if we're not if if, if rap caviar is not doing the job I'll do the job for myself you know what I mean you see what I'm saying so if I don't put a, a hot song that that's that's uh, obviously uh, you know I me mean, gonna be popular on. So I'll just do it, and then I won't be listening to You know what I mean? I'll, I'll listen to my own thing, because you're not doing the job for me. And then, also, you have to remember something else. Is Rap Caviar is a reference. We have billions of playlists, billions, not millions, billions, on uh, Spotify. Right. So, so a lot of people drag and drop from Rap Caviar to their own playlists. You right. know you see what I'm saying? It's a reference. Like, oh, wait, well, what's on the menu today? Oh, like this, cherry pick. This, cherry pick. This, oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? Well, let me let me rephrase then. What I'm asking is, like to your point, um, if a song happens on the radio and people don't like it, people change the station, which is do or die. So yeah. the radio looks at things as we got to have nothing but the hits. Yeah. So when somebody does turn that dial on and they last for 15, 20, 30 minutes or whatever the case is, they definitely hear exactly what they want to hear. Exactly. Do you feel a song in radio rotation is maybe a look of the pinnacle of success as opposed to being yeah. in rap caviar. Yeah, I think yes. Actually, I actually think that radio, the playlists complement radio. Mm-hmm. And and if something gets on the radio, it, I do believe I still believe this very thing that it's uh, that it's arrived. Mm, okay. Because there's no risk at that point. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You, that's the VIP section. So I, I still, so I don't believe that the playlists compete with radio. Right. Is they do different things. Right. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, so this is the thing, and then now we know that people like this particular record. And you know? and I I definitely agree with you. My point in trying to make that point is I work in radio. I have for a long time, yeah. and I've seen the you know when radio was. That's yeah, it. Yeah, we, we, and then we, now yeah. it's like the internet is like where it happens first. And I hear and see a lot of conversation. Oh, you, you're just the radio. Who cares? But a lot of people need to realize, yes, it's not as important it is for breaking music or being the first place to hear something anymore. But it is a place that if you hear a song there, that's that's success. Still, yeah, very much. Because the radio consumer is a passive consumer. They're just like just trying to get home or, you know, just right. just just it's back or whatever so what happens is because it's a much more passive consumer than let's say the active consumers that are skipping records on the playlist right uh that represents a a, a very large part of even if it's the same people but that mood is a lot comes up more often than you know right. I mean? out like me going out to thing you know so right. so is uh, yeah so yeah but even some of the oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry 
<laughs> even some of the breakout stars yeah. of the new breakout stars yeah. of today, yeah. like from Rap Caviar, yeah. the young MAs yeah. and the designers who Rap Caviar gets a lot of credit for breaking, originally started at Hot 97. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and so it, no, no. Well, the thing is this, is this. It's it, a give it, and go. It, it, exactly. It's, it's a very much go. because the thing is this, because even within a radio, you still have mix shows. You know what I mean? Who do serve a similar purpose, do serve similar. But however, what Rap Caviar does is it takes a young MA or designer and they can get listened to in Singapore. You see what I'm saying? They can get yeah. listened to well, in, in, you, in 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 Coralville, Iowa. To be you know fair, what I mean? you see what I'm to, saying? To be fair, yeah, yeah, you could do that with a radio listener through our Where Hip Hop Lives app if they have that. But not everybody uh, does. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody does, but you know, of course, uh, okay, uh, uh, is way uh, bigger, uh, and, uh, and they want to take you know, the word actually, of somebody. You know, you that know actually, that's actually a good point because uh, this, this is the deal. Is this? There's actually, I'm going to reverse what I said about Coralville, Iowa. Is somebody who's on Spotify, and there's a whole lot of people who go on Spotify, correct? And then they stumble upon Rap Caviar, or they stumble upon Young Ma, or a Boogie, or whoever. So, so it's basically so it's that ecosystem. So, so actually, I want to take back what I said about the geography because that's those are little. Well, lines. you're right. No, no. Well, well when but I was MTV, that's that that was the case. You know what I mean? That was the case. But, 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 but I'd rather say the ecosystem of Spotify because there's a lot of users. We have a lot, like a ton. And then they've taken their time to build that, and you have to definitely yeah. give that that credit. Definitely. And also, 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 is the experience is personal. You know yes. what I mean? So I'm, I'm in it. It's me listening, right. whether I'm on the train or wherever, and then I'm in control. So I'm actually voting and saying whether or not I, I mess with something. You know, and you know, you see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And what other playlists are really percolating right now on Spotify? Get turned. Yeah. Get Turned is growing fast. It's a, a, a big party playlist. Um, Most Necessary is an early bets playlist. Um, uh, uh, genre Bender is a little bit more eclectic. Uh, uh, the Realist um, is down south. State of Mind is a New York centric. The State of Mind, that's where you'll hear a lot of like Two Milli and the Young MA album cuts, the Karma Chris records. Mm. And the, Are and you the, programming all of those? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do, I do, oh, I do more than that. I do. Um, what else? Uh, signed XOXO, which is a little bit more female friendly. I do Gold School, which is the old school one. I do uh, Cali Fire, which is West Coast. African Heat. Because I'm from Africa. Okay. So well, yeah. Africa, North African music is making a really big comeback right no, now, right? It's not a comeback. Well, it's, 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 it's getting it's, it's, on the map. It's a takeover. It's, it's, it's a takeover. It's a takeover. It's a takeover. It's a takeover. Right. It's a takeover. So right. I do African Heat. Okay. Uh, Dance Hall Official. I do. Um, uh, there's a really good one. I don't do it, but it's out of Netherlands. Really, really good called Mellow Bars. Yeah, and the, the uh, D, uh, she does that. She, she, it's amazing. Does uh, Hot playlist. 97 do like a Spotify playlist? <laughs> they do. So, yeah. They do. Yeah. Scotty B, I said this in the beginning. Yeah. Put you on. Put you okay. on playlists. It's a lot of up and coming new artists that are fresh on the scene that have a uh, big presence on the scene. Yeah. That, oh, I, I follow uh, Scotty Beam on Instagram, yes, and Twitter. Yes, she, and she knows her stuff. I, 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 She's I watch, doing her I watch thing. Uh, her and Loki on on the internet. And one next, so I'm very, uh, you know, awesome. next. I, I go to the Hot 97. Who's next? If you're the king, I go, of I go there. She's I'm the not, queen. I'm there. She sees me. I'm, I'm there. Yeah. I was there just the last one with Rob Stone. I know you're out Stone. there. Yeah. You're out there. So I go to all, most of them, not all of them, but most of them. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So yeah. So um, but so I want to get back to something real quick before we wrap up, where we kind of touched on where we. You know, talked about the Spotify ecosystem and the, the Where Hip Hop Lives, Hot 97 ecosystem. But being at the streaming wars is so big right now yeah. amongst everybody. Do you feel with playlists, there's any competition aside from Scotty Beam? Do you feel that there's any competition from an Apple um, or a title in, play, in the playlist arena? I, I can't comment on that because I, I only listen to the playlist I work <laughs> okay, on. You know okay. what I mean? Because there's only so many hours in the day. Right, right. You know, so so I, I, I'm so consumed in making sure that the playlists that I put together are top notch. Right. That 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 it's it doesn't even make sense for me to even look. Michael Phelps focus. Exactly. Got exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good. One. I'm gonna use that. Yeah. 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 No, 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 definitely. Because. because you know what I mean? So I can't even comment because I have, I, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't even know. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You know? I had to and put so that out there. Where are you going? Obviously, playlist culture is growing. Yeah. And, and you're a big part of that. No, well, no, the thing is this. this where is, does it go? It, 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 it's, it's being further democratized. I was part of, 
a uh I don't want to use the word elite as in, a, as in snobbery, but an elite group of gatekeepers, like program directors, uh, uh, magazine editors, so what next. And what happened is uh, tech democratized. Started, so that's when you had bloggers. You had people doing their own playlists. Facts. You, know I mean? you, you, you think. So what happens is this. So the things, the secrets that I know about how to create a body of work and make it a living, breathing platform, you see what I'm saying, is now... Everybody knows how to do that. Mm. It's learning how to do it. Right now, we're still we're in a very early stage of playlistism, right? So playlistism. I, I, I love, love that. I no, love no, that. That's what's no, no, you're right. That's you're what's right. happening. You're right. You're right. right. Because because everyone has their own playlist. Webster's gonna have to you know, it, it, upgrade their words. Back in the day, you couldn't have a Bible. The the printing press gave you uh, the ability to have a Bible in your house. Facts. Only the priest could have a Bible. Right. See what I'm saying? That didn't make people not go to church. It just right. it, it made religion or Christianity bigger. You know what I mean? So 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 that ability to worship at home and what cetera. So it's the same thing. Not same. I don't want to. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, taking the religious the out parallel, of it, the, the right? Parallel. Right. Where, where, the scope. Yeah. So what what we did at MTV or when I was at BET before that, like in the music programming department, is and we we put out a playlist every Tuesday. It used to get faxed or you know what I mean or published in whatever trade magazine or every promoter was like, oh, did my record get added? Is is now. Is just being given to thing. It's no different from Instagram. Everyone's a photographer now. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Uh, is Twitter? Everybody's got jokes. You know what I mean? And what next, etc. And, 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 and but what happens is the the people who do this, like this is what they do. This is who they are. They just get a bigger platform. So it doesn't make a Kevin Hart or Lil Duval any less funny because there's a hundred million other funny people on it. Right. It's just that because they're professionals at it. It, 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 people understand, like, yo, this is that was good, that was that was clever. I'm, I'm gonna retweet that, right? You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right. So, saying that, it kind of makes me feel like, like what you mentioned with the photographer is facts because we have to watch out what the phone is gonna do next yeah. because everybody's a photographer now because they've made the cameras photographer level yeah. so now it's like oh a point and shoot i'm a professional photographer and now the photography industry is in in a bad place and all the photographers are online looking to see who they can sue to see who has their pictures up because of what the phone can do but so now we got to see the next time the phone does an upgrade where you can literally broadcast to the world with your voice on one push yeah but which is great because we were talking earlier with Jesse before about um, uh, the people documenting. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That is, sometimes it's not even just about the photo, it's about the moment. Right. And we know in music, it's the same story. It's not just about the song, it's about the moment. You're talking about uh, Drake dropping a record in the middle of the night or whatever, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that moment, it's the anticipation, it's that buzz, etc. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so now the curators, the same way someone like me would have had to stay up or waiting for or whatever is, is having the same anxiety and same exact moment and, and experiencing the same value when they're dragging and dropping it into their own playlist. You mm. see what I'm saying? So it's the same thing. So Instagram, I'm it's my mom's birthday. I'm catching you know a picture right. of my mom's birthday. But guess what? I have a mom's birthday playlist. Mm. Uh, they put together yeah. all my mom's favorite songs and we're playing it at her birthday party and she's like, oh, wow, this is so thoughtful. It. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I don't, you don't even have Prince Nico's sweet mother. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. It's you know climbing saying? generations. So it's exactly. it's doing so different now, things so, already. Yeah, so now what pr program directors or whatever could only do, like the priest before the printing press, is everybody. And, and people appreciate it more. You Facts. See what I'm saying? Especially when you do it for them, because they know how much hard work it is. Before right. they didn't know it was hard work, they thought it was just putting a bunch of songs together. They got the Bible they can yeah. read for themselves, yeah. but they still go to the preacher for him to point out the exactly. words that they exactly. need to see. So now we have deeper, because we only have so much time in life. Now we have a deeper understanding with the same amount of time. Right. So we appreciate it even more. Facts. Yeah. All right. you know? This has been great. Love it. I love it. Well, Listen. Thank you for having me. I'm 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 caviar. R A P C A V I A R. I'm gonna say this on camera. I'm fully oh, sure okay. there's not a part of this that we're gonna edit out. We're gonna oh, air this in no, its entirety. More, man. You know, we we got more stuff coming we, down the pipeline. You know what I mean? Like, and and, and it's, it's just this is an amazing time, and and I'm lucky to be at a place like Spotify, who's kind of like uh, stays ahead of the curve in terms of innovation, because there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Yeah, I'm already aware that hasn't been. That I'm just blown away by. It. Yeah, and, and and then it's important for us guys 
who are in the culture to be in tech because so that it's not just really cool gadget or yes. functions or innovations. Yes, we but it's like too. but it's dope. But we do that do that too. So yes, so it's interesting. Yes, that is relatable, accessible. Everybody come together and let's let's yeah, form, yeah. No, you form have thoughts to. instead yeah. of just what you expect. Yeah, and 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 and, and, and implement ideas. And, yeah, and so so that's 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 the, that's the beauty of what we're experiencing now, and we don't even have a name for what we're experiencing now. Well, well, Spotify's driving the culture. This is the early no, stages you. in plate. Yeah, no, no, plate thank you. Tism? Playlistism. 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 Tism. You yes. got to put a tism on it. Yeah. Wow. All right. Tism. Yeah. All right. So yeah. listen, Tuma, we'll, we will have you back and much appreciated, my brother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.